Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here. And yes, the setting might look a little bit different and that's because it's my first video recording with this brand new setup. So if you guys enjoy this setup, comment down below or if you have any constructive criticism, comment down below as well because I'm always open to some criticism and some comments, all right? Today we're doing a quick tutorial on how to curve the brim of your fitted hat. Of course, fitted hats have always been out there, but I noticed a lot of people have been transitioning from snapbacks into fitted hats so the one thing with fitted hats is when you first get it it's going to have a very straight looking brim okay if the person that tried it on before you didn't go ahead and you know bend the crap out of it it's going to look something very similar to this and this might be okay for some of you guys you know everybody has a personal preference on how they like to rock their fitted so if you want to look like your TI from 2006, then feel free to rock it that way. But personally, man, I have a very like egg shaped face or very round, chunky face. And I feel like a curved brim just looks so much better for me personally. And since you click this video, I'm assuming you wanna learn how to curve your brim. So we're gonna get into it right now. First things first, let's run down the materials we'll need for this video. Let's get it and let's go. First things first, of course, we're gonna need the hat that we're gonna be curving the brim on. I'm just gonna set this one to the side and we don't really need too many materials in this video. The second material we're gonna need are some rubber bands. Now I come from an Asian household. We don't buy rubber bands. We kind of just collect it off of like fruits and vegetables and we're pretty resourceful. So that's why all these rubber bands don't really match but this is what I got right here at the crib right now. So we're gonna make these work. The third material is optional but if you want a very precise curve, you could go ahead and use something like a hydro flask, even a mason jar. It really depends on what kind of curve you want. Now the more narrow the object is, of course it will have more of a bend or more of a curve but if you get something like a 32 ounce hydro flask this will give about the perfect amount of curve in my opinion so we're gonna be rocking with this and quick plug if you guys are looking for custom vinyls for your hydro flask I do make these my website will be linked down below in the description and for the last thing we need we're gonna be using a steamer now this steamer is completely optional but I noticed that when you steam the hat it makes it a lot easier to form the brim without breaking it down straight through the middle so if you guys want to do it this way it's completely completely optional like I said but I do recommend using a steamer now my steamer is over 10 years old now there's new technology and all that so I'll try to link a newer steamer down below which you could probably pick up at Target but this one again is super old it takes up a lot of space but I'll give you guys the updated version in the description down below this is the crazy steamer that we're gonna be using today so the first thing that we want to do is make sure we turn the steamer on because it does take some time to heat up and start steaming so we're gonna plug it in turn it on and then we could go on to the next step Boom. I might get different opinions on this one, but I feel like if we're going to curve this brim, we have to remove the stickers. It's going to be a little bit tough to kind of form it with the stickers on there. And I personally don't think that it looks right with the stickers on here, especially when you start curving it because the stickers will start to like crumple up. But comment down below, guys. Are you a sticker on brim kind of person or do you remove it? I'm sorry, guys, but we're going to have to remove it for this one. Boom, and then we're done with step two. Sometimes you can see some of the sticker right here still. So if you guys wanna blend it in, you just basically rub it in like this. Like this is how you blend in all the material and everything. You just give it a nice rub, go in different directions. Mm -hmm. Just like that, and you can see it's a lot more blended now. This is the most crucial part right here. Our steamer is steaming. I don't know if y'all can see it, let me give you a little background so y'all can see the steam. Can y'all see it? Okay, so basically what you want to avoid is bending the brim right down the middle. This is cardboard. So once it splits, it's very hard to get that shape back. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our fingers on this side and on this side and we're kind of just going to bring it in. Okay, we're going to try to make it as even as possible. So let's see. You're going to take a look at it. You see this? We're just kind of pinching it. And it looks a little funny at first, but you got to keep in mind that when you let this go, it's going to go ahead and, you know, kind of reshape itself. So if you exaggerate it on here, just keep in mind that it's going to open up a little bit like this. Okay. And once you get the perfect curve, see, it looks like some duck lips. Y'all see the duck lips? Quack, quack. Once you get something like this right here, you can go ahead and start steaming the bottom and steaming the top so that's what we're gonna do let me just double check make sure we're all good here 
okay? To me, this looks good. Here we go, guys. Just watch your fingers, because you don't want, you don't want to steam your fingers. It's gonna hurt. I'm still applying a very light pressure on those points. Your brim will start to give in a little bit. So it's softening it real quick. We don't want it on here too long. Get this steam going. Boom, 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 boom. Something nice. Something light. Uh, uh, uh. Just like that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at it. Move, steam, move. Sorry if y'all could still hear the steam in the background, but this is what we got so far. Look at that. We got the nice little curve on there. It's looking pretty good, but what we have to do is we have to make sure that we get this nice and even. So remember how we had the hydro flask and the rubber bands? I put three rubber bands, one touching the crown of the hat, one in the middle, and then one near the end. And I tried to make it as even as possible. So you guys can see, man, it's bending the brim perfectly around this hydro flask. And we're trying to make sure that, you know, everything is even. If you do it uneven right here, it's gonna look weird when you wear it. So you wanna make sure this is as even as possible. And of course you could go ahead and fix it after cause we didn't break the middle part right here. But this is generally what it's going to look like. Um, once you wear it again, it's going to kind of puff out a little bit more and start forming to your head. But I like to keep it on this water bottle until it cools down. You can leave it you know, for 24 hours, you can leave it overnight. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the morning. So I'm gonna get some sleep. But if you guys wanna do your boy a solid, make sure you're following me on Instagram at sneakerhead in the bay, all right? If you guys enjoy these tutorials, I'll come out with a lot more. What's up y'all, we're back. 24 hours has passed by and man, I'm super excited to show you guys what this hat looks like. This is how we left it overnight and as you guys can probably tell, man, that shape is looking super saucy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start removing these rubber bands. We don't need them anymore. Now I was gonna say, if you have the nice and flat rubber bands, that's probably even better than these little flimsy ones that I have right here. If you're fancy and you got those, use those. But if you're like me and you're just collecting random rubber bands, uh, we'll make it work. So we're gonna pop this off and boom, we got our curved brim fitted hat. Look at this. All right, it might look a little exaggerated, but what's gonna happen is I'm gonna throw this on and my big head is going to form this exactly to where it needs to be. But this is just a quick look at how the hat is looking. I think it looks really good, man. It's starting to get that nice shape to it. It has that curve and it looks super even from what I can tell. It almost reminds me of how uh, my homie Kill the Hype bends his hat. So we're gonna throw this thing on. Oh, 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 okay. Right off the rip, bro. That thing looks saucy. And if you guys want it to kind of like protrude out a little bit more, you don't like it as curved, you go ahead, just bend it out just a slight bit, you know, just a little bit. But as you wear it, it'll start forming to your head a lot better. But right off the rip, bro, this fits really nice. It feels a little bit snug right here. But again, like I said, as I wear it, my big head is going to stretch this thing out. So this is the curved brim look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, let me know. My hair is looking a little fuzzy right now. It would look super dope if this was all nice and tapered up, but it's not. It's looking a little musty right now. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys that smashes the like button and subscribes with those post notifications on. If you made it to the end of this video, comment, hmm. Comment your favorite taco meat down below. Let's go ahead and confuse some folks. And that's gonna wrap up this video. It's your boy Alex, AKA Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out of here. Peace. Shoo.